Yeah, we're asleep, huh? but Snake's not asleep. Huh? I wonder what he's up to. Back in my house. And then the, oh, he, he slugs straight who's out from the bottle. Whoa, knocks over the kitchen table, smashing my dishes. Uh, the snake slithers. Uh huh. He vows to recapture me at first light in Rhodes. It's only a few ways to get off the island by boat, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm going to beat up Earthman, too. Both of them, he slurs as he lapses into a demonic psychosis. Well, when he regains consciousness, Snake takes the 6 o'clock first bus from the plaza in Lindos uh, to Ro uh, Rodos. He's, he's enraged. He's crazed. To put the wildcat from Melbourne back in her cage? Yeah. Uh, but this unrepentant snake, <laughs> unspinounced to him, is slithering too fast. Pace your slither. Uh, because what happened? Uh, snake kind of leapfrogged us on the road to Rhodes. We're still s sleeping in the chapel, huh? Uh, and uh, he's ahead of us now. Still outrageously hungover. <laughs> in Rhodes, Snake sulks amidst the packing crates, lurking in ambush at Emborius Harbor, the port for Athens, Cyprus, and Turkey. These are the big boats that go to Piraeus, Athens. They got to get on one of those. Well... <laughs> Hmm. Earthman and I wake up together. <laughs> Embrace. Mm. Step outside. Brush our teeth. Yeah. Uh, we depart the chapel after the morning bus rolls through. We are innocent about the danger ahead of us. We hold hands. We encounter a Greek peasant woman riding side saddle on a donkey, and she asks, she sees how in love we are, and she asks us, uh, are you married? <laughs> and I say, etsy catsy, which means <laughs> kind of, but mm, not exactly. <laughs> oh, funny. We're glowing, obviously. <laughs> Uh, excited to be alone for the first time as distinct traveling partners who belong to one another. <laughs> oh, we enjoy an easy hitchhike to Rosetown, you know, in the daylight. Yeah, uh, the vision of Earthman, Afghan vision, not reasonable. <laughs> So before traveling anywhere beyond roads, uh, it just comes into his head like a whimsical, like a spiritual, intuitive. He escorts me to the plastered brick uh, shack of Manolis, where we catch the family at breakfast. <laughs> yeah. uh, blushing with pride, the Earthman introduces me uh, and uh, Manoli shows it. Yo, Rodolf Valentino, huh? You like the torture? I would steal all I could win. <laughs> oh, yeah. Intense love vibration. Mm -hmm. Well, the curious wife of Manoli, Sirene, speaks no English. Uh, but because of the intense love vibration, she believes that we have just gotten married. Yeah, uh, so she asked Manolis uh, where we will be going for our honeymoon. <laughs> Manolis doesn't need to translate what he says back. He says, look, um, I understand, peasant Greg. 
Uh, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, uh, Earthman uh, <clears throat> says, uh, like, uh, honeymoon. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. How groovy an idea that is. Uh, and, uh, hey, Manolis, what is your mo most remote Greek island around here so we can... <laughs> Get some privacy. Manolis is getting high from our <laughs> love bird vibration. He says, uh, spontaneous. Well, Malesta, of course, go to Sponge Island for your honeymoon. Peaceful, no tourists. Uh, it's only 32 kilometers uh, from here, uh, and um, nothing to do there except make bambinos. Well, with family pride, my knowledge says my uncle Kostas lives on Sponge Island. He plays classical piano in the moonlight for the Aegean dolphins. And he is, in his own spirit, the Messiah of Sponge Island. Well, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, Manolis, tell me some more about, uh, you know, uh, this. I love, I like this. Uh, Oh, uh, Manolis explains, the Sponge Islanders operate their own boat, Christian the Carpuja. Watermelon. So they can sell their homegrown vegetables to the merchants uh, 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 <laughs> near Mandraki Harbor. It's called the New Market. It's octagonal, kind of Ottoman. <laughs> Shh, don't tell the Greeks that. Uh, yeah, the Carpuzias. We'll be leaving later this morning from Mandrake Harbor. Look, relax in my home. I just take the morning off from driving taxi, you know, and I'll drop you at the boat in my Mercedes. Manolis finishes breakfast, and he explains that he was he was born on. Uh, sponge, and he suggests that I make a pilgrimage to where? The monastery of Palamites, Moni Palamites, uh, on remote south coast. Get a blessing from the monk for your honeymoon <laughs> or marriage. Whatever comes first. Just uh, uh, uh. Well, here comes uh, Pantales, um, the crippled son of Manolis, uh, gathers a wedding bouquet of jasmine <coughs> and gives them to me, Cleopatra, for our wedding bouquet. Divine, pure love. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, the mystical undercurrent, it, it does feel as if Earthman and I um, are truly becoming heartwed in this sacred moment by the crippled son of Manolis in an unknown shanty town. On the outskirts, the hard scrabble shanty tan slums of Lodo. Well, after breakfast, hmm. thank you, Irene, for breakfast. Uh, Manolis drives us to the port um, and uh, of Mandraki Harbor. This is a smaller harbor that's used by the, you know, rich yacht people and a few small Greek boats. Uh, and along the quayside here, there's these 
huge patisseries with enormous uh, awnings over them that serve the fanciest, like French pastries, you know. And for the tourists, they can sit there, they can have an espresso, beautiful pastry, and Manolis generous. He sets us off with some Nescafés and some pastries. Um, Blushing newlyweds. Uh, yeah. oh. Wow. The excitement of it all, huh? It's hard to keep it together. Was that a little earthquake? Like the one that took down the closets of Rose? Did you feel it? Did you? F I felt it. For oh, well. Well, uh, Earthman, he's sipping his espresso. He confides to Manolis about his encounter with Snake last night. Uh, Manolis is stunned by the lack of subterfuge uh, uh, from Earthman. Uh, no common sense. Uh, incomprehensible. You just... Manolis frowns at this dangerous behavior of his friend, whom he calls the other cab driver's my golden child. Ah, oh, yeah. Earthman snatched Snake, huh? His rival right under Snake's eyes. <laughs> well, um, this gets Manolis going on. Uh, yeah, you are Odysseus and Helen of Troy. Uh, never mind about Snake. I will rescue everyone. Hey, Manolis, he whistles for his cab driver friends to come over. Four tough working class Greeks. Sakliraitis, Konokatrinis, Statis, Tarkis. Walk over. They live in the same shanty town with Ma Manolis. Um, they're curious, what, what mischief? Is Manolis getting up to this time, huh? He's such a charmer with the foreigners, huh? Well, the four men join our table. Mm-hmm.